I'm joined now by Mark Lauder, former special assistant to President Trump. Mark, so good to see you. Um, good to I'm see you, Katie. wondering what the end game here is for the president. Is he really, if there is a clean CR that's sent back to him, is he going to veto that? Well, right now it would look like it. He's been very he's been very firm and committed for the past three years from the campaign trail all the way through his time in office. He wants to secure the border. That includes uh, that includes a wall uh, or fencing or whatever we're going to call it now. And and he wants to see that in included. So basically, until he gets his way. Well, that's both ways. You've got you've got Democrats saying they won't pass a C, any kind of CR if it has any money for the wall. They want their way. The president wants his way. Hopefully, there'll be a way to meet in the middle so far. But what we've heard so is that anything over the 1.6 or 1.3 billion that number keeps changing is a non-starter for Democrats. And and the president is trying to make a broader deal on and he's offered this on multiple occasions. We'll just have to see how it comes out. Well, there was a there was a deal to be made last year when he was being offered 20 billion for his wall in exchange for protections from DACA. Um, he threw that deal in the trash. And well, now it's two years later when the Democrats are about to take control. And he had a, he had a Republican controlled House um, and a Republican controlled Senate. And he did have a deal on the table. It seems like the reason he's got no deal now has more to do with him than it does with anybody in Congress. Well, I'd also tell you there was a there was a federal court ruling that reinstated DACA, which took which took the leverage off the table in terms of the fact that it needed to be done. If that gets overturned, I think that deal comes back, and there may be something long term in in that respect. Uh, but also, as you know, while yes, technically Republicans do control the Senate, when it comes to Senate appropriations, you're going to need 60 votes, so you have to have Democrats on board. They're using that minority power to hold up the entire spending process. I do know that, but he did have 20 billion on the table and he decided to say no to it because he added some more components to a deal that he wanted that he wasn't going to get. He had a Republican deal, a bipartisan deal on the table that was uh, thrown in the trash after his more conservative allies and more conservative advisors like um, Stephen Miller got in his ear and said no go without more border protections. Well, and this is where the negotiations are going to continue. We will see what we can if something can get done. I'm hoping they can get something done here. And, and in the next few weeks, uh, it, it looks like both sides are going to have to give something. I've been in politics long enough to know that usually when neither side gets exactly what they want, you probably have a good compromise. Right now, neither side uh, appears willing to give on anything, although you do have the administration. I know the vice president is still working on Capitol Hill, at least making phone calls, trying to see if something can be done. The question is, is what are the, are the Democrats going to meet anywhere close to the middle? Um, there are 400,000 federal workers who are going to be furloughed. Uh, there are 400,000 other federal workers who are essential employees who will be working without pay. The president has now said multiple times that he's heard from a number of federal workers who say that they're all about this shutdown, that they want the wall. How exactly is he hearing from these federal workers? Or are they calling the White House? Because I believe the, the switchboard is not on right now. How are they getting in touch with, with the president? Well, I, I'm not exactly sure how he's reaching, but he but he hears from federal employees all the time. How? He hears from them before the before the how shutdown, he, whether they're whether them? they're coming in, whether he's going and visiting various agencies, even when he is when out he traveling around. Any he hears from folks. And when has he been traveling? He's been to Iraq. Well, this week since the shutdown has occurred, but even leading up to the shutdown, this was not a this was not a surprise shutdown that we could see the tea leaves. No, but he for said many, he's been hearing from them. He's been hearing from them presently, it. not in the past. Well, and I'm not sure. I'm not in Washington, D.C. I haven't talked to him here in the last few days or so, so I don't know exactly how. But we do know that by and large, and including a lot of Border and Customs Patrol agents, believe walls work. They know it works, and they want a secured border. So that could very well be something that he is focused on and that he, and that he is telling back when he, when he says that the federal employees uh, support what we're trying to do long term. Uh, the majority of this country does not support a wall, and that's just from all the polling that's out there. And 54 percent do not support a wall. Is the, is the president comfortable digging in his heels on this when the majority of the country does not want it? 
Well, I think what he's focused on is that the majority of Americans want secured borders. They want criminals and gangs and illegal immigration to come across. Well, how are we going to stop them? We need a combination of a lot of things to protect our neighborhoods, to protect workers, especially on the lower income scales from having their wages lowered. There are a lot of things. The president is focused on a lot of things as it relates to border security. But we also know that there are certain areas where walls work. When you look at those four areas in the last few decades where we have expanded our border wall and barriers, illegal immigration has dropped 90 percent. It shows that it works. We just need to be targeted in how we do it. We need Congress to give us the funding to help us do that in targeted areas along with better technology, more personnel, and the other things that many people are talking Still about. Still, the majority of Americans say they do not want a wall. Even if they want tighter border security, they do not want a wall. Um, Mark Lauder, thanks so much for being here, and Happy New Year, my friend. You too. Thanks, Katie.